Well after Romney Care was put in place, uh, four years ago, you not only endorsed me, you want to Laura Ingraman said, and this is the guy who is really conservative and we can trust him. Let's not forget you said that. That's Mitt Romney. He's the guy that definitely will not be in a debate in Portland on Monday night, but how about the others? Good morning. Paul Lindman, Scott Lynn with you on the early morning update. Uh, you've heard it reported in the news that uh, with Romney backing out, it brings into question whether there'll be a debate at all. Let's catch up with the chair of the Republican Party here in Oregon, Alan Alley, live on the morning update. What's the latest? Have you talked to any of the other three into coming, Alan? Well, uh, Santorum has always been sort of in the middle on this thing. Gingrich has always been positive on coming. And Paul has been kind of in the mode of he'll join if two of the others join. So uh, Romney has said no, but yesterday we got the partners together and agreed that we would go forward if we had three others. So that's the plan right now is to work with them after this big victory for Rick Santorum last night, work today on it, and then Thursday morning we'll make an announcement whether it's a go or a no-go decision. Well, The Atlantic reported yesterday that Rick Santorum and Ron Paul would pass on this debate. Uh, Your reaction to that report? Well, we think they jumped the gun, and I think if you actually read what they said, it's actually very similar to what I said. They just drew a conclusion without talking to us. Well, let's speculate a little bit. Everything changed. Well, maybe nothing did. I don't know. Maybe things changed after the votes in uh, Alabama and Mississippi yesterday. How do you think that impacts your chances? Well, I think it's actually positive. I think it was uh, great for the Santorum campaign. I think Gingrich is going to want to, he said that he would stay in the race. He's going to want a nationwide forum to be able to talk about uh, kind of his vision of the country. And I think Ron Paul was always going to go along. And if you think about it, if we did get Santorum, Gingrich, and Paul to say yes, uh, we have left the door open with Romney's campaign to go back to Governor Romney and say, we are going ahead with it. Your seat's still warm if you'd like to attend. I can't imagine that he would pass on that opportunity and leave the other three to have an hour and a half of national airtime to basically talk about Governor Romney. Not to stretch this thing too far, Alan. What if two say yes? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think what will happen is the affiliates around the country will not want to carry it. And that's really the deciding factor. You know, the Republican nomination traditionally is decided early. This has been such an unusual year. How do you read what's going on and how it might turn out? Well, (laughs) that's a a great question. uh, If you look at the math, it's actually getting hard for anybody to accrue the number of delegates that you need to have the nomination. I think I looked last night and uh, before last night, Governor Romney still would need 47 percent of all the remaining delegates uh, in order to secure the nomination. And then you have to go into which states are 100 percent allocation of their delegates, which are proportional. And the math gets pretty complex. So I think this is going to go on for quite a while. I think we we all forget that Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton went until June in their um, process before Hillary dropped out of that race. So I think it's going to go on for quite a while. Do you think Republican voters are getting tired of it and that it might diminish the effort come fall? Well, some of us may be getting tired of it, but I think what's happening is you're actually seeing this ebb and flow, and our candidates are being vetted very well. You're actually getting to know these people, and that by the time we have a nominee, Republicans and Democrats are going to know that nominee very well. And when you're running against Barack Obama with a billion dollars backing him, it's very, very important that people get to know these people. So I actually think the process is going to work for us. Alan Alley, he's chair of the Republican Party in Oregon, says he'll make the, they'll make the decision on the debate tomorrow morning. Always a pleasure. Thanks for talking to us. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it.